Welcome back to another Painted by Fame. I'm really excited to explore today's look. It's a bit inspired by New Wave, as well as artists like Kabuki Starshine and my dear friend Stephen Dimmock. They are masters in the realm of color, texture, the 80s, and alien beauty. When working with other artists or assisting other artists that have a specialty and have had generations of time developing their talent, you really get the opportunity to expand your knowledge pool and become a better artist as a result of it. So I always like to pay tribute to the great artists who have molded and defined the abilities that we've been able to perceive in social media today and also in the pages of high fashion magazines. So what I've been able to achieve with this look and taking tribute to the 80s is these extended lines that don't necessarily need to connect. It's just about drawing all the attention up and away from the face with intensely saturated color. My go-to approach is always working down to the deepest shade. So I'll start with a larger brush and the mid-tone range pigment and work my way down to black using a very small, finer defining brush. Now to overlay on top of the new crease, I'm applying two shades of glitter. I'm starting with the green bright glitter. I didn't actually have the name of this glitter. It was a bit mysterious, so if you could find it, please let me know. And then I went into this nice rich blue, and that gave me the ability to connect the tone of the pigments I'd used around in a matte form to this iridescent light impacted glitter. Since I've been so focused on skincare in the last years, I've seen a dramatic improvement in my all over texture and tone, which means I get to wear a lighter weight foundation, which is really, really nice as an artist. And what this means is I get to see more life to the skin. And that to me is really taking a drag transformation or a heavy makeup and making it feel a bit more fashion. So using a large stippling brush to apply my foundation, this is giving a bit more of a lightweight finish and the coverage where I need it. And then I'm just going through it with a beauty blender to really pick up any heaviness or weight that I can see from that product. Since I've been working to get the skin to a nice place, I wanna be able to showcase healthy, beautiful skin and put foundation only where it's truly needed. To make sure that this look still feels very high-end, I'm keeping my contour very soft, but I'm really pumping up the blush so it falls into the alignment of that 80s glamorous woman, hair bands, and new wave. And as this look is all about color, we're going to complement the bluish green eyeshadow with an array of orangish red and yellow blush and a gorgeous gold highlight to really complement the entire look. I'm now anchoring the waterline with a black liner faded out into an extraordinary green shadow. In keeping with the saturation, I'm now using a chromographic pencil by MAC to really pump up the shape and the intensity of the lip. And to add a bit of shine, a nice creamy lipstick.
Now to elevate Beyond Beauty, I've applied some custom applications. I hope you've enjoyed this transformation. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please let me know in the comments below.